According to The Verge, Home Assistant just entered the top five list of most popular smart home platforms. In this video, we're gonna talk about how Home Assistant can become number one on the list. Let me just briefly mention something. Let me just say that it's extraordinary that a open source project self-funded has been able to reach such levels of popularity to be within this top five list. So I think it's an extraordinary achievement. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are. And actually, if you actually want it to become the number one system or if you prefer it to be it as it is. The first thing that I would recommend is looking at Home Assistant's brand and Home Assistant's positioning. If you look at the website in general or the sales page for the Home Assistant Yellow, it's pretty much focused and centric on the core audience, which are the nerds and the geeks, for example, like myself. However, if we want to expand to the wider market, we need to rethink how the sales pages and which type of products and we can actually package Home Assistant in that make, them, make it super simple for anyone to start using it and adopting it. We all know that Apple is like industry leader in terms of marketing and in terms of advertisement and things like that. So I don't think Home Assistant needs to go to that extreme level, but it would be also nice to have some nice promotional videos of like how Home Assistant is and what Home Assistant does and what the benefits of Home Assistant are not just from content creators like myself, but directly from Home Assistant themselves. Potentially, maybe hiring even a marketing person. I know that might seem weird because the budget probably is limited and Home Assistant is putting a lot of resources in development of the product. But if someone's able to market the product better, then that really is gonna help with the increase of usage. And I am a firm believer uh, the more people that use Home Assistant, the better Home Assistant is going to get and the more investment is going to happen. One particular piece of advice I can give is to limit the user interface changes. So I know they have been frequent and some people love them, some people love them. Me in particular, I feel that users will get confused if they change on a monthly or a regular basis. I would keep major user interface designs to maybe once a year that will really help users remembering where things are and potentially I would say also reducing the number of options that are there by default. There are many menus and many things and I think that we need to create a, an advanced mode uh, that will hide a lot of the things that users really don't really need to interact with on a daily basis and really concentrate the home assistant experience around dashboards and automations and integrations, which is basically adding new things to Home Assistant. For me, that's the core triangle of Home Assistant and all of the user interface should be like centric around that. Um, but it gets a bit lost with all of the other options and people get really confused. I would also recommend focusing on the robustness of the system and the reliability of it and the really error messages that come out when Home Assistant does work. They still are difficult to troubleshoot. It's still difficult to understand what's gone wrong. So I would like recommend um, focusing on that in the future releases. So there's been a lot of talk about the transition from YAML to UI, and I think it's a fundamental necessary transition if Home Assistant wants to position themselves outside of their core audience, so for non-technical users, it really has to be pretty much UI only, um, which is really getting there. Right? There's been a lot of progress made in the last year, many things that you couldn't do with the UI, you had to do in YAML, um, have been ported over and migrated. Um, I actually think that by default, if we can get to a point where YAML is completely hidden uh, from the user, again, like in this advanced mode that I mentioned, then I think that would be amazing because we literally just would always use the UI and would really not even have that YAML option where people might get confused on what that is and how that works. The fourth thing is a low hardware entry level. That's one of the reasons I think Amazon's products and Google's products were really, really popular because they really had a low cost. And I'm aware that Home Assistant can't afford really to lower their price down, but as Home Assistant gets more and more popular with economies of scale, really hope that we can get a bare bone Home Assistant system to run on 
cheaper hardware and then keep the more expensive options, the, the, the fully decked out options for the more advanced users. But I think that's going to be crucial having a, a, an appealing uh, piece of hardware that can fit in, in your home, easy to set up and also at the lowest possible cost entry point for any user. Works with Home Assistant I think is a great initiative. I haven't seen that personally on any product yet. I've seen it around on websites, uh, the logo. If that ends up on their box, users will really realize that when they pick up this product, they'll, they'll obviously works with Amazon HomeKit and, and work with Home Assistant and they'll really start regarding Home Assistant as an actual, not just like a, a hobby project, as a real solution for their smart home. I would love to see more release announcement videos that are shorter, that actually demo the new functionality in Home Assistant. Again, it doesn't have to be like an Apple keynote and something super fancy, but I think the current live with the developers that happens is very, very technical. And I think we should keep that for the technical audience, but we need some sort of two, three minute video that explains exactly what home, what's new in Home Assistant to excite. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let's open up a discussion. I'll try to reply to everyone that writes the comment down below. Let's just have a debate about it. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more Home Assistant content. See you in the next one. Ciao.